Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Techno Buffalo, and this is a look at the hardware on the Asus UL30VT. This is the laptop that claims to get up to 12 hours of battery life uh, by using two different GPUs, one to save on battery and one to give you kind of power for gaming and that sort of thing. We're going to talk about battery life in the next video, but right now we're going to go through the hardware, talk about build quality, weight, and that sort of thing. So the laptop is about 3.7 pounds. It's very lightweight and it's extremely thin, especially right at the front. It's less than an inch thin and it feels actually about the same heaviness of uh, most nest netbooks uh, that I've lifted up and, and felt in the past. Now the lid is made to look like brushed metal, although it isn't brushed metal. Um, as you can see that in the light, it's a very nice texture, but unfortunately pick, picks up fingerprints very easily. If I kind of tilt the laptop, you can kind of see some fingerprints up here. And I've tried to wipe these off before filming, but they wouldn't come off. I think because of the texture it may require some more um, agitation. So that's unfortunate that the lid picks up fingerprints so easily. Let's take a look around the device and see sort of the ports that the UL30VT has. So here on the side we have a vent for cooling. We have a VGA display connector. Also an HDMI connector which is nice. And here's a USB connector. One of three on the front, we have nothing except for four status lights. One of them is for hard drive, one's for power, one's for battery, and I think the other one is for wireless. They're all not illuminated right now. And again, the front is very, very thin, and this is a good opportunity to show how thin the screen is. Using the LED backlight, they're able to make the screen extremely thin. It's just a few millimeters uh, thick, as you can see there, which is quite nice, and I think helps to save a lot on weight. Going over to the other side, we have a multi-card reader here. So you can pop that out and put in your memory card from your camera. We have a headphone jack, microphone jack, two USB ports, uh, a jack for networking, and this one is for charging all the way on the right. So let's open up the laptop and see sort of what's inside and talk about the keyboard and the touchpad. Okay, so here we are inside, and as you can tell by the reflection over here, the screen is extremely glossy, and um, I haven't taken this outdoors yet, but I'm assuming it doesn't have good out outdoor visibility because of that. Um, the screen is 13 inches diagonal, actually 13.3 to be exact. The resolution is 768 down and 1366 across, so not the most high resolution, but certainly good enough. Uh, we've got a 0.3 megapixel webcam at the top with an integrated microphone, so you can do Skype calls and that. That sort of thing. Moving down to the bottom, we're going to see that this really shiny uh, material kind of continues all the way down into this area, and that's sort of unfortunate. I found this device to not only be a, a fingerprint magnet, but also a dirt and debris magnet. So I've got little hairs and dust bunnies and things on this already from one day of use that I didn't even know I had in my environment uh, when I was using it. Fortunately, it's pretty easy to clean off, but you're going to be cleaning it off a lot if you get uh, this laptop. So down here on the palm rest, we see this reflective material. Then we see the touchpad in the center, which has an interesting sort of dotted texture to it. And some people were saying that they didn't like how that felt, but frankly, I like it. The reason that they made it this dotted pattern is so that if you're trying to feel quickly for the touchpad, um, you don't get confused of where it starts and where it ends, since it's totally flush down here, which is actually quite nice. It's a multi-touch trackpad, so you can do the two-finger scroll. You can also do some other gestures. We'll talk about that in a future video. Now let's get a little bit closer to the keyboard. So the keyboard is a chiclet style. It's a little bit louder than the standard chiclet, so I'll type for a second which some people may find gratifying, some people may find annoying. I frankly like the clickiness of the keyboard. It really makes me feel like I'm actually typing something. In the upper left corner, we have a button that will switch between the two GPUs, the one for power and the one for uh, power savings. All the way over to the right is the power button um, that illuminates blue. Then we've got some standard function keys within the keyboard that you would expect on a laptop, uh, like brightness and volume and quick access to switch on a projector or an external display. And overall, the build quality on the ASUS UL30VT is quite good. Uh, it feels sturdy. It doesn't have any weird creaking that's going on. It doesn't feel like it's going to break if I pick it up the wrong way. And of course, this is going to possibly change this opinion as I get to use it more. And we'll do a follow-up video um, after the next video to talk about build quality and how it's actually holding up. So we'll be back soon to talk about software and the speed and the performance and battery life on the ASUS UL30VT. That's it for now.